All right, so we're diving deep into American Primeval, this new Netflix miniseries coming out. Yeah. And uh, looking at the materials, yeah. I'm already seeing, like, this isn't your, you know, like, classic Western. Right. You know, like John Wayne hero kind of thing. No. This looks brutal. Oh, yeah. 1857, American West, just pure survival. Yeah, you know, the raw. raw. Yeah, raw. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we've got some great material here yeah. to really dig in and. One of the things that really struck me okay. is the cast, you know, yeah. Taylor Kitsch, Betty Gilpin. Right. I mean, they're fantastic. Talk about, you know, some actors who just completely transform. Yeah. And we'll talk about, you know, all the lengths that they went to. Yeah. To, to really embody these characters. Yeah. But just from the trailer alone. Yeah. I mean, you see it in their eyes. Oh, yeah. The weight of what they're going through <laughs> in this story. So. Absolutely. And, you know, I think that's one of the things that drew me to this project too is that the creators of this show uh -huh. were really committed to not romanticizing the west right right it was it was a brutal time yeah and they wanted to really capture that yeah and they and they don't yeah they're not shying away from that absolutely not no and that's evident i mean right off the bat we're talking about the mountain meadows massacre yeah which i mean that's just a a horrific event talk about setting the tone oh absolutely mm -hmm. i mean this this was a massacre of settlers by a Mormon militia. Yeah. So so we're not yeah. we're not starting with like, you know, a saloon brawl or something, you know, like a typical No, this is this is like diving right into the heart of darkness. Yeah. Yeah. And it really kind of I think sets the stage for these yeah. conflicts that we're gonna see throughout the series. Right. And it's not it's not a simple, you know, cowboys and Indians narrative oh, either. Yeah. Absolutely not. You've got you've got these different factions all vying for control for mm. resources. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got the settlers pushing west. You've got the Mormon pioneers seeking religious freedom. Mm -hmm. And you've got the Native American tribes who are being displaced from their land. And trying to hold on to what they have. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And and so it's it's this, you know, tinderbox of tensions. Yeah. So right from the beginning, we're seeing this this collision of cultures. And, and like you said, it's not going to be pretty. No, no. It's going to be it's going to be messy. It's going to be violent. Yeah. But it's also going to be, I think, incredibly compelling to watch how these different groups interact and clash. Right. And within that, we've got our main characters. Yeah. Isaac and Sarah. Let's let's talk about them a little bit. OK, so Isaac, he's played by Taylor Kitsch and he's he's a complex character. Yeah. From what I read, he was like. Sold into a Shoshone reservation when he was we a share, kid, yeah. kid, so his whole upbringing is oh, like survival, survival, and and I mean, learning how to navigate these these different worlds. Yeah, I mean, talk yeah. about a you know crash course in in no, different but, cultures. Yeah, and he's he's kind of an outsider in both. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's not fully accepted by the Shoshone, mm. and he's definitely not accepted by the white settlers. Right, so he's kind of he's caught in between. Yeah, he's caught in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, and that's got to be that's yeah. that's got to be a tough place to be oh absolutely and i think kitsch you know he he really embodies that yeah well and the lengths he went to yeah. <laughs> he lost 25 pounds to play this role he did and he actually broke his foot during filming wow that's, yeah so i mean talk about talk about method acting yeah yeah i mean i i wonder how much of that yeah was intentional and how much was just like you know like, right Right. Uh, the intensity of the shoot. The reality of the environment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But but either way, I mean, yeah. that's got to translate to well, I think so. a screen. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and then you have Sarah, who's played by Betty Gilpin. Right. Yeah. And she's she's like a yeah. a pioneer woman. She is. Yeah. She's she's a mother who's who's fiercely protective of her son. Um, and she's just trying to to keep her family safe in this in this really dangerous world. Yeah, and, and she went through some some pretty intense right. preparation for this role as well, right? Yeah. I mean she spent months learning how to ride horses. Oh. And, you know, she was she was riding in the same landscapes where they were filming. So she was she was really uh, immersed yeah, in that world. She was. And she actually said in an interview that you know, her insides were rearranged from all the writing. Wow. So she was she was really. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I can only imagine like, I mean, I've been on a horse like once. Right. And I was sore for a week. Yeah. So, I mean, to to be doing that day in and day out for months. Yeah. yeah. That's that's got to be. It's no joke. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that also, you know, it speaks to the director, Pete Berg. Right, yeah, he's mm -hmm. known for it's yeah. like his his realism. Yeah, yeah, his commitment to realism. Yeah, and he insisted on filming on location in New Mexico. Wow. So they were dealing with the elements, they were dealing with the terrain. I mean, they were really putting themselves. They were, they were out there. Yeah. 
out there in it. Yeah. And they encountered wolves, apparently, during the shoot. They did. Yeah, there were there were some some close encounters. Wow, that's that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it really adds to the the authenticity of the whole thing. Yeah, well, and it's it's interesting because you think about like yeah, you know, a lot of westerns. Right. They're filmed on like backlots. Yeah, on sound stages. Yeah, sound stages. You yeah, know, yeah. and it's all very like controlled. Controlled environment. Yeah, and this is like the opposite of that. It is. Yeah, it's like they really wanted to capture the the rawness and the unpredictability of the west yeah and i think that's that's got to create a very different experience i think so for the viewer absolutely you know that you're you're gonna feel the dust you're gonna feel the heat Mm -hmm. you're gonna feel the danger yeah it's not it's not gonna be yeah like a romanticized version of the west no it's gonna be gritty it's gonna be real yeah so i mean knowing all this yeah what what are your expectations for this show I mean, I'm I'm really excited about it. Yeah. I think it has the potential to be something really special. Mm-hmm. You know, it's got a talented cast, a talented director. Uh-huh. It's got a story that's rooted in history, yeah. but it's also telling a story about about human nature, yeah. about survival, about conflict. Yeah, and 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 how do you think they're going to yeah. navigate that balance between historical accuracy mm-hmm. yeah. and and telling a compelling story? It's a tough balance, for sure. Yeah. But I think they're they're up to the challenge. Yeah. You know, they've done their research, they've assembled a great team, uh-huh. and I think they're they're committed to telling a story that's both entertaining to thought-provoking. Yeah, and do you think it's going to be like completely bleak? I don't think so. Okay. I think, you know, even in the, the darkest of times, there's wow. always hope. There's yeah. always resilience. And I think we're going to see that in these characters. Okay, so maybe a glimmer of hope. A glimmer, Along yes. amongst all the... Brutality dark... amidst the darkness. Yeah, well, I guess we'll we'll have to find out. We will. January 9th, that's when it premieres on Netflix. That's right. So Mark your calendars. Yeah, mark your calendars, everyone. It's, it's going to be an intense ride. It is. So buckle up. Buckle up. All right. Well, thanks for for joining me for this deep dive. Of course. Into American Primeval. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. Me too. All right. We'll see you next time. See you later.